My name is Bob Loheed. I'm an Elvis tribute artist, Elvis impersonator. In 2007, I was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Survival rate at that point was 4%. After I got better from that, I moved to the beach to kind of take things easy. And it was just by chance that, you know, this lady heard me singing at Shucker's restaurant. And she came up and asked me, you know, hey, you know, can you come do a show for us? Yeah, what do you charge? I said, well, I don't know what to charge. I don't do this. She goes, well, what Elvis suit are you going to wear? I'm, I'm looking at her. She goes, you don't have an Elvis suit? I said, I'm just a guy at a bar. <laughs> I said, but if, you, if it's that important, I'll tell you, don't pay me. Just rent a suit. Well, she did. I still have it hanging in my closet. It's a great reminder of where it started and just how precious those days were. And that's really how it started on January 8th, 2010, on Elvis's birthday. I'm part of the Delaware chapter of the Pancreatic Cancer Foundation. We do marches, we do our fundraising each year. I got lucky, they found mine by accident, they found it early, and I had a great doctor, a great surgeon at Fox Chase Cancer Center in Philadelphia. And uh, that's why I'm still here. It has been a blessing, it really has. It's really meant so much to me in my life because during the day, you know, I do a lot of children's hospitals, rehabilitation centers, and it's nice to connect with people that you bring back a memory. That's the important part. When you go into a facility and play to nine people and get everybody dancing and tapping their toes and, and maybe they weren't even, you know, awake for two days, but they're awake for that hour, that, that's, that's important. That's, that's really important. Elvis had it all. He had the charisma, he had the talent, he had the raw energy, he had that it factor. I think people just have so many memories, good memories. We were doing a show last night in Rocky Gap and we had a couple of ladies come up and say, oh, you know, you brought tears to my eyes and that song really came back because it was my dad's favorite song. It was my mom's favorite song. And that's why we're Elvis fans, because it was my mom, my dad, my aunt, my uncle. You got the suit on, you put some hair dye in, you know, you grow the chops out. That's half the battle. There's only one Elvis, only one Elvis Presley, and all us guys just trying to keep that alive. But what I really enjoy out of it, if somebody comes up to me and says, listen, I'm not an Elvis fan, but I was entertained. And that's really what we strive for each show. It's not to be the best Elvis, not to look the most, sound the most. There's only one Elvis Presley. He's up there, my mom gets to watch him. She doesn't watch my shows anymore, she watches Elvis. <laughs> Performing on stage, probably something I always wanted to do and was lucky enough to get in with a great group of musicians that are just world class. And this band, the Memphis Mafia, we have guys that have been with Willie Nelson and Merle Haggard and I'm just very lucky. I'm just a guy up front having fun. They got to do all the hard work. It's been a cool eight years. And it hit my